Today we are celebrating the vigil of the solemnity of John the Baptist, the precursor of the appearance or the birth of the Savior. This is, this, this is the precursor of the first coming of the Lord. Our celebration today is not about, although it's about John the Baptist, it is more about ourselves than about him. We remember John the Baptist so that we are reminded that we are to be like John the Baptist, the one who announces the presence of God in our midst. We might not be living in a desert. In the Philippines, this are the any desert except for the sand dunes and vegan. We might not be eating locusts. Thank God we have no locusts here, otherwise the farmers will become poorer. But what we have in remembering is the word itself is already an indicator to a member to be, become, we are a member of the body of Christ. And in order to continue being dynamic in this unity of membership, we have to remember, remember again and again, to join again and again the community of saints, if you will. And to do that, we have to become like John the Baptist to announce again and again through our lifestyle, through our word, through our thinking, that, that God is coming in his last coming. We are, we are witnessing generates the awareness that there is a coming, the second coming, the third coming, if you, the, the second coming, if you will, from the first appearance of Jesus announced by John and the last coming, the third appearance of John, uh, God himself and the second coming is how God appears to us as we witness to love, care and compassion and being humble. We celebrate the solemnity of John the Baptist by being like that. We announce that God is here. We don't only announce by words and the word most effective is our action. So let that be as we remember today. We announce the talk that we talk is our walk. So we walk in God. Just like what Francis of Assisi said, let us go and become missionaries to that other side, that city. We witness to God. And they walk and they pass to that place and the disciples ask him again, why are not we preaching? There. Why are not we talking about God in that part, in that city? Francis said, our presence is the best witness, preaching that God is present. So let our presence then, even though we are silent by our comportment, our behavior, it becomes a call, a sign, an epiphany that God is in our midst through us.